Hi, I'm Oblissi. Hey everybody, today I'm going to teach you how to RNG abuse stationary Pokemon in uh, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Uh, I will have a separate video for Hard Gold and Soul Silver's uh, stationary abuse because there are a lot of key differences and covering them both in the same video I think would make them too long. So with that out of the way, um, what you're going to need in game is to be saved right in front of your legendary. So, I'm in front of Uxie here, or Uxie, whatever. You're going to need the coin flip uh, Poketch app, which I think you get from some lady in like that, you know that villa right outside of Sunny Shore City, there's a lava cookie there, and it's like a, like almost like a hotel thing. I think someone in there gives you the coin flip app. You're also going to need uh, two chat outs with a recorded chatter, so I have both chat outs, they have chatter recorded. Um, and the last thing you're going to need is a, potentially a Pokemon with Synchronize if you want the proper nature. So I have an Oxam here with Synchronize, and I believe that is should be bold. Anyway, so with that out of the way, uh, let's get to um, RNG Reporter. So I'm going to open up RNG Reporter and go to 4th Gen Time Finder. Boop. So in here you're going to see a few things. Um, the year is 2016, so you can put whatever year you want to catch this thing in. The min-max delay. Um, minimum delay is going to be 600 for Diamond Pro Platinum. Uh, and the maximum delay can be pretty much whatever you want. It's how long you're willing to wait. I just set it to about 3,000. Um, the min-max frame. Uh, this is what frame your Pokemon is going to be on. So you can set that to 1 and the highest frame. Uh, see, 2,000 I was hunting for a shiny. Uh, you don't really need it to be that high. I dropped it at around 200. Uh, if you're going for a shiny, you need your secret ID and your trainer ID. And then you're going to increase the max frame a lot, to up to 10,000. It's how many advancements you're doing, how many times you flip back and forth between Chadot. Uh, yeah, so I would recommend uh, RNG abusing for a trainer ID, which I will link in the description if you want a specific shiny frame. So that out of the way, the method. Um, I believe the method for all stationary Pokemon in this game, with the exception of Distortion World Giratina, is method J. Then here you're going to set stationary Pokemon. Uh, and then you're not going to touch the encounter slot. And then you're going to want to put down the stat you want for the Pokemon and hit generate. So here we go. It's going to be a lot of different natures. All the natures will pop. It pops up fast. It doesn't take really search time like it would in uh, the other game. So you could actually uh, put that. That's what the nature thing here is for. I want a bold Uxie, so I'm going to drop that in here. Um, you could also have the ability, if the Pokemon had different abilities, which Uxie does not, you would put the ability uh, check here. A lot of the legendaries don't have multiple abilities in this game, though. So, anyway, so what's going on here is it's showing you um, what type of lead you would need and what the PID is. Uh, if you'd have a, like, uh, for if you've made it shiny or not. So, I would prefer one that has no required lead, so let's see if we can find one. None. Here we go. But, as you can see, it's on frame uh, 109. That's, that's a lot of advancements I do not feel like doing. So, we're going to pick a lower frame. I would say 9 is a fine frame with the synchronized lead, so we'll copy that seat to clipboard. Yeah, so, you right-click it, copy seat to clipboard. Then you're going to go into 4th gen tool. Actually, let's set up the main window first. <clears throat> uh, so, in the main window here, you're going to check uh, the method, right, method J, DPPT, and check stationary Pokemon. Then you're going to paste your seed and hit generate. Oh, I must have done something wrong. If the... Uh, the frame is not lining up like this correctly. So that's it. See, it should be on frame 9 with this PID, but it is not. Oh, you know what? It's because I did not check synchronize, so I should be synchronizing bold. And then I hit generate, and now everything will line up properly. There we go. Frame 9. Frame 9. <laughs> so there you go. I'm not used to having uh, synchronizes. Um because I usually uh because I I gen I, uh, RNG abuse in, in older gen, uh, or newer gen, more frequently. Okay, so 
once we have this window set up, this is pretty much all you need to have uh, going here. Uh, we're going to go into 4th Gen Tools and we're going to hit Seed to Time. We're going to go into this window. So now in this window, you're going to check off the game you're playing. So I'm playing Diamond Pearl Platinum. And we're going to paste the seed here. Here's 2016. Seconds is how many uh, seconds you're willing to give the game to boot up. So I usually just put 23 because it's the lowest uh, that works uh, without resetting Eon Timer's clock. Doesn't really matter what you do. I would put anywhere between 23 to 30. You could do higher if you want, up to 60. So then hit Generate. And then once this is generated, you're going to hit uh, Generate down here as well. And I'll explain this in a bit, okay? So with that out of the way, you just want to save in front of your Legendary, which, as you see, I've already done. And you're going to go into your DS and set the date and time. So we're going to go here. It's 2 24 2016 is the date, and 115823. Now, if you don't know what delay your system hits, I'll explain that when it happens. So, 58. Now, we're not going to hit start yet. We have to open up Eon Timer. We're going to open up Eon Timer. We go into 4th gen. So here we're going to type the delay we want. So I already have the correct delay in, but I'll show you in a second. Uh, the target second you're going to want to put there, uh, which is the second you put here. Right here. Uh, <clears throat> the calibrated seconds should be 14 in all the games. And the calibrated delay, um, it should be 600 to start with, and that will change the more you figure things out. Uh, so I will set mine to 600 to show you guys what I mean by this. Then if you notice, uh, it says minutes before target is 1. So even though our time is 1158.23, we want it to be 1157. So then we'll start DS clock and Eon timer at the same time. And we just wait one minute before the game starts. And I'm going to pause the, the recording so you don't have to just like wait there. Okay, the clock is winding down, and when this uh, does its final beep, we're going to start the game. So, now you're just going to want to get to the uh, screen as fast as possible, so just mash the start button. You're going to want to get to the, like, the file select screen here, as fast as you can, and then you wait for this to count you down again. And then you're going to... Oh, crap. Uh, I shouldn't have flipped. We'll see. So anyway, once you're in here, you're going to flip the Poke Edge app to see if it lines up with this. So, Actually, you're going to click Search Flips. So flip your first coin. Sorry, Tails. And you're going to do this ten times. It's a really tedious... And I personally recommend RNG abusing the Gen 4 Legendaries if you can, and uh, Black and White too. It's simply, it's easier. Tails. One more, I think, or two more? Two more. Yeah, so one more. Tails. And you hit OK. So it tells me this is the delay that I hit, and it tells me I'm on an odd delay. Okay, so let me explain what this means real quick. Odd delay. Your game can only hit an even or an odd delay uh, based on a few things. So, the year is what determines if it's even or odd, and also the game in the bottom of the DS cartridge determines what is in it, or what delay you'll hit. So, my game hits an odd delay, which is 1055, because the last number determines that's odd. Uh, when I have a GBA game in the bottom port here. So I have uh, a Japanese copy of Pokemon Sapphire in the bottom. Uh, if I wanted, if I hit 1056, I'd never be able to hit 1055. The only way to hit 1055 would be for me to take out the Pokemon Sapphire game and boot it up like that, or to leave the Pokemon Sapphire in and change the year to 2015. Watch, if I hit 2015 here, hit generate, it's 1056. But... So that's the only two ways to switch the delay between an odd and an even one. So if I had hit 1022 here, I would either have to take my Sapphire copy out or change the year to 2015. But I hit 1021, so that means I'm on the right delay, I'm on the right like even odd cycle. And now I just have to figure out how to hit uh, 1055. So what I'm going to do here, it's going to go into on timer. 
and I'm going to type delay hit 1021 and hit update. It's going to drop my calibrated delay all the way down to 566. And then we're just going to try the process over again and hopefully we will be a bit closer to the um, the uh, delay we want. So I'm going to hit start. And I'm going to pause this again so you guys don't have to wait that long. I, I did not click resume soon enough, but it shouldn't matter too much for you guys. You understand how to boot the game up already, so, so we're going to mash through this as fast as possible. I'm going to go back into, uh, we're going to wait here for this to count us down. We're going to go back into seat to time because we're going to have to search flips again. Six. And then we're going to, oh, we're going to flip the coins. Here we go. And the reason this is useful is because it'll just tell us what, um, like exactly what delay we're hitting, because we're not going to hit it the first few times, probably. And one more will probably do it. Okay, 1057, so we're very, very close. So here, mm, could do this. It'll change delay by one. It doesn't matter as much when you get this close. You don't really have to change it, in my opinion. Um, you just have to keep trying at that point. So we're just gonna try again. Now I will pause it again for you. So, game is booting up again. Hopefully we will be on the correct delay this time. That would be lovely. It will take a while though. Uh, it's, it's pretty much luck. Not really luck, but it's, it's like... It's very hard to be consistent in regards to this. Okay, we'll do the coin flip. I'm hoping for a tails. So it's a heads, I don't even care what it is at that point. Uh, I'm Because 1055 starts with a tail, so I don't even, it doesn't even matter to me. I'm just gonna try again. I gotta find the on timer. And I will pause. Six. Game starting. So if we're wrong again, uh, if it's not a tails to start and it's not the correct coin sequence, um, and we get 1057 again, I do have another method that I can show you guys to potentially help uh, get the correct delay. And you'll see what I mean by it in a second. Six. Okay, so we'll start this, and we're going to flip the coin. Oh, we got a tails. Alright, that's good. That's good news for us. Now we want a heads. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, crap. Search flips. Tails, heads. Tails. So we're going to keep doing this. I believe this is the correct frame. Honestly. Um, but, uh, it's like I said, it's basically trial and error. There's a few other things you could do to potentially uh, like ensure that you're on the right frame or whatever uh, to make it easier to hit the frame. And I'll explain that in a second. One more. I believe this is the correct frame. It would be embarrassing if it was not. Oh, one more, I guess. So, it's 10.55. That's excellent. So now what we have to do is our frame advancements, which is with the chat op. So we're going to go here. So we want to get to frame 9. So we stop at frame 8. So we're going to go here. Listen to the chat op. Just cry. It has to be a recorded chatter. You can tell I was in mid-high, so if we go down one, it's high. It's a little lower than that. See, that's low. It's mid, high, high, low. And now when we talk to the Uxie, it will have a perfect stats. So we're just going to catch this Uxie. 
And if you're going for shiny, it's easy to confirm because it's a visual thing, it's shiny. We will just do <laughs> my hacked in master balls. I RNG abuse, but I don't I don't uh I don't care much for uh uh catching things that are a pain in the ass to catch. <laughs> I will look at him later, but since I have an empty space in my party, I will show you. So it's uh, it's a little difficult to prove to you in Japanese, but here I think the I personally think the best way to uh, prove this is by going into. We go to Cerebi and show you the stat calc is a better way to uh, <laughs> we go here. Alright, so you can see. So the nature is bold. Uh, the way to prove this bold is if you take a look at the nature here. Uh, to, you can just Google this, but that's bold. Uh, if I go up to my Alakazam. Same nature, so that means the synchronize worked properly, which I needed to synchronize to get that nature, so we're gonna hold. Uh, I don't have all this stuff because I don't I didn't talk to the judge. So it's level 50. And let's look at its stats. So that's 50. 78. 165. 95. 150. One 15. Let me hit uh, here, let me make this page bigger. Oh, here we go. Calculate individual values. As you can see, every stat is going to be a 31 or a 30, and we know what they are because it's correct. And uh, this is a 15, so this means we hit the correct Duke suit. Uh, I hope this helped you guys. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next tutorial, which is for... Um, uh, which is probably going to be for roaming legendaries, I'd say, in Diamond Pro Platinum. I'm probably going to do all of Diamond and Pro Platinum first, and then I'll get to Hard Gold and Silver. Um, oh, one more thing I wanted to note. Uh, this is not that important. Uh, like I said, once you get to... Let's say I am I could never hit anything but 1057, right? I always hit 1057 every time I was going for I would never get lucky with my delay. A very easy way to make your delay go down... Uh, like if I'm, I hit 1057 every single time I tried, no matter what I did, I couldn't get it, no matter how many times I hit update, it, it didn't matter, right? What you could do is you could change the year on your DS to 2014, right? And when you hit generate, or not 2014, excuse me, it would have to be up higher. It would have to be uh, 20, 2018, right? 2018 would make it 1053, and it would knock my delay that the DS is going down to by 2, so I'm hitting 1057 and I would be dropping to 1055 if I set the year two years ahead. That's all. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next video. Best much for into a, it. To be able to take uh, uh, special hits safely. That, like, uh, uh, so he's gonna earthquake again. Again doesn't do much. I decide I have to kill it. Stalling it at this point isn't worth it. And he's gonna go back into uh, the Vaporeon and I just.